in today's session of Divorce Court. Lawrence Griffin says Marcella is no longer the wife he married, and he wants out. She had like seven different multi-personalities. One minute we'll be talking, then she'll just go off, getting all in my face, talking to me like, ooh. So what's this about you going off into all these different personalities? I'm me, Your Honor. And I want to get out of this marriage, you know. Like, like, wait a minute, hold up. Today, Marcella Griffin and Lawrence Griffin face the judge in divorce court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Lawrence Griffin versus Marcella Griffin. Mrs. Griffin, you and Mr. Griffin have filed for divorce. I filed for divorce. You filed I, for divorce. Yes, I did. What are you asking the court for today? Um, $200. He has to pay me. He's 13 months overdue. And what is this for? Uh, spousal uh, maintenance. So he's gotten a spousal support order to pay you? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, I never received any of those papers. Do you, you have a copy lines. of the court order? Right here. Yeah. May I see it? I was served a some uh, divorce paper, you know, that she filed for divorce. About. It wasn't nothing in there about no two hundred dollars that I owe her a month or nothing. We didn't ever go to court about, about that, so I could not just be told that I owe two hundred dollars a month. I ain't talked to nobody about you that. You don't. This is not an order yet, Ms. Mrs. Uh, Griffin. This is just your request. The court has not made it an order yet, so you don't have okay. a court order for him to pay you $200 per month. You have to wait until you serve him and get into court for a hearing and get an order. Okay. You've just begun the process. Give it back to her. What else? Can't give you that. Why are you here? What's wrong with this marriage? What's what? going on? Well, Your Honor, I'm here to, to make amends. Um, so you I don't want the divorce? Well, that's if he changed, you know. Um, if I he changed? Has, he has committed adultery numerous times in and our marriage. And you didn't? He's and committed no, adultery? I never have. Yes, ma'am. And, um... Your Honor, I committed adultery one time, and I told her about that. More than one time. It was like two more months after we time. got married. I was young. I went to my daughter's mother, and You still live with happened. one of your daughter's mothers. He committed adultery one time after you got married? Yes, more and than I told her about time. that, Your Honor. Just one time? Yes. Do more you have once. proof? Do you she have any proof? She didn't have to have proof. Thank you know. I mean, she can't say I did it if she don't know what, enough, what I did. Once is enough, Lawrence. So that's why you want to end it, or do you want to try I to make amends? You're telling me two things. What do you want? I wanted to make amends. That's why it took a year to do the finalization on, on the divorce. Before you filed? Yes, ma'am. Because you want to keep the marriage. This is what I'm saying. Uh, when I filed for divorce, I wanted a divorce. He had 90 days, 90 days to dispute. Your divorce. request? Yes, my request, which he didn't. So I gave myself a year to see whether he changed or not to finalize a divorce. How do you want him to change? To stop committing adultery? Stop, yeah, committing adultery. Are you still yes. living together? No, we're not. We've been and separated. And it's been over a year? It's been, October will be a year. Since you've been separated? Since we've been separated. What did you expect him to do during Just, that year? Uh, maintain a job, uh, take responsibility in our family, take it more serious. Your Honor, and he's not doing that? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen him in a year. So then it's how do you know if he's changed? Excuse me? So then how do you know if he's changed, if it's been a year? I don't know that yet. It's been longer than That's a year since we've filed. been separated. So you want him to come back to live with you so you can see if he's changed? Yes. You want to go live with her again? No, Your Honor, I want his divorce, and Why do you I want, want to get on with my life. Why do I want a divorce? Yes. I want a divorce because during our marriage, she was drinking real bad. And I've been she so changed for a year. Hold on a second. From the beginning of our relationship, from the time we was dating, until after we got married, she started drinking real bad. Like, she had like seven different multi personalities Let me finish. coming out. You know, she used to, one minute we'll be talking, just straight talking like we're talking now, and then she'll just go off, oh, F U M F, and just start calling me out my names and stuff. And then getting all in my face, talking to me like, ooh, all in my face, calling me names. I'm like, yo, back that off. You know, I don't, I don't like all of that. And I don't know, I just don't want to be with her. And she didn't do She's that before violent. you married her? She's violent, no. too? Yes, no, he's she is. What did she do? Your Honor. Your, your Honor, one, okay, one time, Your Honor, I was sitting there laying on a the couch, 
and she, I guess she had went to court for something. She came home in the morning, like, oh, so I went to court. picked it's, up the phone, it's, it's and dialed, she straight. picked up the phone oh, and dialed yeah. star 69. I'm asleep on the couch, mind you. We had a roommate. And this person that called, it was a guy that called and asked for our roommate, How which was a female. And um, she picked up the phone. I guess some female answered the phone. She come running in the room. Most likely, he gave room. her the number. Oh, why, why you having females call my house? Whoop -de -whoop. I'm like, yo. So she's accusing you of house. cheating. Exactly. Oh, right. he have cheated plenty of times, like I so said. So what's this about you drinking and, and, and going off into all these different personalities? Well, uh, you have a drinking problem? All, I have, I'm me, Your Honor. And yes, I did, like I said, have a drinking problem. I've been cleaning this over 11 months. And when you had that drink, well, that's, you're to be congratulated Thank for that. Thank you, but we drank together. You know, yes. and both so, of us took, both of us should take partial blame in our marriage. So you drank together. Yes, we did. But it changed your personality, but it didn't change his. his. That's what he said. Is that said. what he's saying? Yeah, that's what he's saying. So would, do you think it changed your personality? Yes, I do. Alcohol does change everybody's personality. So how were you sickness. different when you drank? Uh, well, I notice now as violent. I'm sober, I change and I know it's different because I don't get violent. I don't get agitated as much as when I was drinking because of his adulterous affairs. So at, so drinking would make you agitated and violent? I guess because of the thought of him cheating on me, I started drinking a, a lot. So you started drinking to get rid of the thought? Yes. And when you, when you got I sober, the thought was still there, right? It was like seven all. different girls should have come to me telling me he was messing with her. Seven different women? So at least seven different women that well, I Well, I don't think you should have been drinking to get rid of the thought. You probably should have just been getting rid of him. Yes, That's well, not I, I know true. that now. <laughs> I know that now, ma'am. Well, during the time he's, seven, he's telling you about seven different women coming to him, c having an affair with him, you're drinking, but while you're drinking, are you still having sexual intercourse with him? Yes. yes. Well, instead of drinking, you should have been concerned about your health. What were you doing about that? Well, uh, I just wasn't in the right state of mind when you, like, so, what, so drinking uh, really clouded your perception, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. When divorce court returns, Marcella denies she was the only one with a violent temper in the marriage. We both broke that TV, if anything. How can I, how can I break a 25-inch TV? With a lamp. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Lawrence Griffin, who says he's divorcing his wife, Marcella, because he's tired of dealing with her seven different personalities. Mr. Uh, Griffin, what about all these different women? Your Honor, that's a lie. You know what I'm saying? I told her the only time I cheated on her, I was he young. He never told me. I was 19 me. when we got married. Into telling you know what I'm saying? You're still young. young. I am still young. You're, you're right. And I want to get out of this marriage, you know, well, you and get on with care. my life. No. You were 19 when you got married. I was 19. When why you didn't fight, Why didn't you sign the papers 30 days after you was? was you was. Um, well, he's gonna served. get out of the marriage now. I'm uh, signing thank now. You very, he sure enough can. Now, what else do I need to arbitrate for you? Nothing well, it's for me, Your Honor. That I know. Nothing else. You just want the divorce. Yeah. You're not asking for anything else from me. He can't. He don't have a job. He never did. He worked 30 days out of our three-year marriage. Now, you I'm, know you I'm lied. You know you lied. I'm oh head of household. When, we got, married, when, when we got married, where was I working when we got together? Where was I working at? Excuse me. I'm head of household. When we got married, where was I working at? Hold on, Mr. Griffin. Let her finish. And every apartment that, that we had <laughs> oh was in my, my name goodness. before. He moved in the apartment with me before we even got married. Yep. Okay? You let him do that. And where yes, was I, I working when we moved in there? Come on. Are no you talking? way. No way, though. Anyways. So he didn't work. How did you acquire anything? Well, a lot of things I accumulated before we were married. So you don't need this court to divide any of that? Oh, no, I don't. What yeah. about you? Are you asking the court to divide anything? Yeah, well, Your Honor, I'm asking to be reimbursed. When, when we split up, I had a lot of um, valuable items that I got from my grandfather, plus my clothes. She done cut my stuff up. My grandfather's hat, which was worth over two hundred dollars, it was really a, Lord. Yes, really. Oh, please, yes, half really. the clothes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It don't matter if you bought them. They were my clothes. Oh, dear, what it don't happened matter to his if clothes? When did I cut up your clothes, Lord? With, oh, don't lie. When did I cut up your clothes? Oh, my when dead grandmother, you cut up my clothes when uh -uh. we was in Ohio. Oh, oh, left we was them in on Ohio? the bed. Left them on the bed with just a pair of drawers, Your Honor, a pair of socks, a T-shirt, and a pair of shorts. Oh, you that's what cut she all cut up, but that's all up. she left. That's all she left. All I want is to get reimbursed for, for the TV that I bought for, oh our, for our apartment that Listen, we had today. You know what I'm saying? I bought the TV. Every time he says something, you get excited. 
Because he, he's lying. Yeah, what up? All he said was, I want to be reimbursed. Is he lying about wanting to be reimbursed? Because the TV is my TV. It was I'm your lying. house. It's your TV. I bought the TV three okay. months after well, we were married. Me... It was $175. He gave me $25. That's why the police report that you said that you had it before we got okay, married. Okay, wait a minute. He yeah, said right. he wanted show to be... Me, show me the police report, Ron. <laughs> I need some control. Ooh, buddy. Show me the police report. Your Honor, now, not only the TV, I want to Hold on a second, because you're losing me. Yes, sir. Just wait till he's done. You want to be reimbursed for a television set. Mm -hmm. That she broke with the lamp and Stand claimed up. I broke. That she broke with the lamp. That your wife broke? She broke it. And how did she break it? With a lamp. Your what Honor. did she do? She took she the threw lamp, the lamp and, threw and threw it? She threw the lamp and threw it in the TV. We was, was that we was one of those times she was intoxicated? Yeah. She had just, it's that time I was telling you about when she came home from court and picked up the phone, dial star 69. So she broke she the broke television. In my karaoke machine. You got a karaoke that, machine. That I made what happened music, to that? That I made music on. You know what I'm saying? What happened to that? She broke it. How? She threw it against the wall and broke it. This yeah. little woman picked up a karaoke machine that and threw it against the wall? That little woman is violent. That little woman is wild. She's strong. She thinks she always getting, when she have a confrontation with a male, she's always in his face Your like Honor, she about I to whip his something? tail or something. In a minute. You know Thank what I'm saying? And then what else? Sitting here trying to be all good about it. No. It's not like that. So no. she picked up the karaoke machine, she broke threw it against the wall, machine. and broke it. Yes. And how much did that cost? About $150. And you want that back? Yeah, I do want that back. It was a gift given to me. Yeah. And what, you know from what I'm who? Saying? From my daughter's mother. But I made music. I make music. That's what I do. And I want reimbursed for my clothes that she cut up. And my grandfather's hat that was worth everything <laughs> to me. He passed away, rest his soul. She how much was, were your clothes worth? I had you about. You don't know because I bought them. You ain't buy all my clothes. I had just bought a brand new um, Perry Ellis suit that she cut up. Ooh, you love these name brands. Just tell me what it was worth. I don't it care was about, who's it was. It was about two hundred dollars. The pants and the shirt. You one suit? Uh, yep. That's what she cut up. One suit. No, she cut up all my clothes. But about, all of them was worth two hundred dollars. No, all my clothes oh, probably no. about five hundred dollars at the no, most of what she cut up and what she left me about twenty five dollars worth. Now, according to the court papers, somebody's talking about some phone bills. Y'all, yeah, can, I, can I speak on I'm that? I'm going to let you speak in a minute. Okay. The phone bill that I, that I was, that's in that paper was in my name. Well, what, we what, left, what about we my left, phone bill before we left you put a friend, it in your name? We left a friend there at our house, or let a friend stay Why at our house. Why do you always got to do the talking, Your Honor? I just told you I was going to let you talk in a minute, okay, and I will you. when I get ready for you to talk. Her thank friend you. ran my phone bill up. You know what I'm saying? Her friend, in her calls to New Jersey, ran my phone bill in my name. And you know how much saying? is that? It was like sixteen hundred. I don't have the phone bill. Oh my God! It wasn't sixteen hundred. Your Honor. Now, are you finished? Yeah, I I'm hope finished. so. I let her talk. What's the, tell me about the television. <laughs> we both broke that TV. No, we both we were both fighting. Not break we the TV. both Mr. broke Griffin that TV. Is now your turn to be quiet. <laughs> we both broke that TV. If anything, how can I? How can I break a twenty-five inch TV? He With said a you lamp. Picked up no, a lamp no, and threw no, it in no. broke Like I held the no. lamp in your hand with your you to honor. break it. We both like did I not said, break Like I said, I don't take responsible for breaking the TV or karaoke machine because we was both fighting. And I was trying to get him off it, of me, your honor. Oh, we were living so in a single machine. wide <laughs> trailer. That got damaged too at the time we was fighting. You no, picked it up and threw it? That's not no. working at the old He's house. He's lying. Mr. No. Griffin, it's your turn to be quiet. No, your honor. Not at all. I didn't throw anything. Yes, he had it. He he got it for a gift. But let me tell you, the girl took it back from him. He sent one of his friends to the girl's house, and he took it out of her house and brought it to my house. Okay, so, so it was at your house. house. It was in my apartment. So how did he get broken? And at the time, it was, I wasn't even married to him. When it was broken, were you married yes. to him? Yes, when, when it got broken, it was married. That's the we time I'm talking about. Yes, ma'am, we happened? were married. Like I said, we got into an argument. Like he said, I came from court, and I got a phone call from some girl, which I always did. For some woman or whatever. You didn't get a and phone we got the argument of Blase Blase. Mr. Griffin, your fact, turn to be quiet. Fact, last now, this time. is like 10 o'clock in the morning, so how could I be drinking? Or drunk? You drink at 7 in the morning. morning. No, I didn't. I, you I, woke I didn't up drinking. Drink. I didn't drink early in the morning. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's how the TV and karaoke machine got broke by both of us fighting in the house. I take partly responsibility from it. Take but he has to, too. What about the phone bills? The phone bill, I, I really can't. We call the phone bill. I don't know how he can tell me to have to re reimburse him for a phone bill when the phone was already in my name. I ain't saying reimburse him for the whole phone bill. One of our girlfriends. Explain to me. Was well, the phone in your name or his name? The phone was in my name at first. Well, how do you all don't even know whose name the phone was in? I'm trying to in? tell you, ma'am. Yes, I do. Was it, was it in, in her name or yours, Mr. Wait Griffin? Wait it was in my name first, Your Honor. When, when we was dating, it was in her name. When, I'm talking about after the marriage. When we no. got married, it got turned on in my name. No, it didn't, Lawrence. It was still in my name, Your Honor. Yeah, it was still in my name. Why didn't somebody bring me a phone bill and I could That's see right, from myself? That's right, because I didn't know he was going to bring this up about a phone bill, because the phone was 
that what was put in his name, he ran up himself and our roommate ran it up. And they you had no part of it? I probably sold a couple of cars to New Jersey for my mother, but not no $1,600 worth of car, Your Honor. He, he's part of the blame for the phone bill. Is there a $1,600 fact, phone bill? I don't know. I've never seen one. Never seen a phone bill for no $1,600. You lying. Is, you never showed God, it to her? I've never seen a phone bill for $1,600. The phone that came to her, to her house in the mailbox that house? she checked the mail in. My house? Well, why didn't you say it was our house and we lived together? But you keep saying why it was your you house. Key you keep saying it was your house. Why you have a key? Are you finished yet? I'm finished, Your Honor. I just want Anything to else you want to tell me? About the clothes? I, I, I brought most of the clothes. Bought he did, he brought a cut couple. My clothes up. He, cut, he brought a couple of jeans and all like that. Then I cut his clothes up. I did, Your Honor, take responsibility for his grandfather's hat that I but did. But what did you do with the clothes? What happened to him? He got, he got his clothes, Lawrence. Give me a break. Man, I, Give on me my a dead break, grandmother Lawrence. and dead grandfather, you can Your Honor, she cut up all my clothes. You come up in the spirits, but you're lying. Whatever. I did smash up his grandfather's cowboy hat. Maybe it's one of my personalities. Yeah, that is. What'd you do it's with the that? Fifth one. Huh? I did. I smashed it because that night I had went to work. He was like, I say, he, he left me with his family. He would never be home. He'll leave me to go to Columbus, Ohio, everywhere in Ohio. So I decided on August the 31st to leave him. And you tore up his day, grandfather's hat. I just stopped. As a yes, last I did. resort. Yes, I did. I admit to that. It wasn't his hat. So if you yes, tore up the hat, that. but you left I, the clothes. I did it. I, honestly, like I said, because I knew it would hurt him. Because it was something that he gave me, and I do apologize. I would take responsibility for that. How much was the hat worth? It was it he was over hundred dollars. I don't know what he said. All my grandfather's hats were Stetsons and, and Dobbs. That's what your mouth Woo. say. You know what they oh, look you like, know. Lawrence. But Please. but if you if you were that angry with him and you were hurting him enough him. to take that's tip. the last time I seen him. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, no it, it ain't. ain't. Yes, it I'm is. I'm leaving too. Bye. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> take a break. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. And an update on the case of Lisa Weidman versus Cameron Weidman. You threatened to kill her. You threatened to that? kill me? I think it's the other way around. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back in the case of Lawrence Griffin, who says he can't take dealing with his wife Marcella's seven different personalities anymore. Back in the matter of Lawrence Griffin versus Marcella Griffin. Both of you did a lot of talking, but neither of you told me too much. Uh, <clears throat> the best I could make out of this was that there was a karaoke machine that was a gift to you, Mr. Griffin, was destroyed during a fight. I'm with Ms. Griffin. Both of you were fighting. So I can give you some responsibility for the damage. But it was his gift. You owe him $100 for the karaoke machine. You're ordered to pay him that, Mrs. Griffin. The grandfather's hat you admit that you destroyed, you ordered to pay him $200 for his grandfather's hat. Now, in terms of his clothing, if you were angry enough with him to destroy his grandfather's hat, I find it hard to believe that you didn't destroy his clothing. Because you said that I destroyed his hat, because grandfather's hat, because I knew that that would make him upset. No, because I, so I bought most I didn't ask his you clothes. To talk. Sorry. <clears throat> So I'm going to order you to pay him $500 for his clothing. The television was damaged during the marriage. I mean, during this fight also. I, the best I could get from Mrs. Griffin, and you didn't deny it, that it was purchased during the marriage. Mm -hmm. So you both destroyed your television. Figure out what you want to do about buying another one. I'm not going to order either of you to reimburse the other. The telephone bill, if there is an outstanding telephone bill, then you each are responsible for half of it. Do you understand the order of the court? Yes. That's the order. Court's adjourned. All rise. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Lisa Weidman versus Cameron Weidman. You don't like him anymore, do you? No. You don't deal like with her him. anymore, do you? Hell no. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in divorce court. Lisa Weidman said she left her husband Cameron because he was abusive. But Cameron said Lisa threw the punches in their marriage. You threatened to kill her. You right to that? kill me? I think it's the other way around. Well, she gets mad and upset. She, she, she comes and charges after you. And it hurts when she hits, believe me. No, I married an idiot. You don't like him anymore, do you? No. Well, then you, you don't deal like with her him. anymore, do you? Hell no.
Before Cameron's mother passed away, she gave Lisa an antique ring. Cameron brought Lisa to court because he wanted the ring back. The judge decided that Lisa should keep the ring because it was a gift. Lisa still has a restraining order against Cameron and has cut off all contact with him. Cameron says he feels their daughter would be better off with him, and he is now fighting for full custody. There's no chance of reconciling. I just want to get on you know, with my life. And I don't think I should have to be have to pay him for no karaoke machine or no clothing that that I didn't I didn't destroy. I destroyed the hat, yes, but uh, it's just over with. Sorry that our marriage didn't work out. And just hope you have better luck in the future. Like me, I hope I have better luck in the future too.